Ready to start? Yeah. Hey, welcome to the gathering. Wish you were here. Um, just want to show you what it looks like so that you can imagine yourself here eventually and show up. Um, in person, it's so much fun in person because we do drawings and it's yummy food and it's amazing. But um, I'm going to leave the camera up so that you can see the slides and catch the teaching, okay? Elizabeth, welcome. Tonight we're talking about um, metabolism, healing your metabolism at any age. We will get started after the drawings in just a little bit. So just check back in in about 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Um. Oh. Welcome, welcome. We are so glad that you're here. <laughs> okay, awesome. I'm Terry Bonin. And um, wow, look at y'all in December. They're so busy. And we can't hear, can't hear. Should we move the speaker down? Would it help? Maybe? Can you all hear in the back? No. 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 Why is it? Okay, we're, we're going to work on the sound, but while we're working on the sound, let's do some drawings because y'all are amazing and you're on time and you like all registered. <laughs> we knew we were going to have a full house tonight. We're so glad you're here. And so, let's see, Wanda, pick a, pick a winner. Oh, hold on. We've got to make sure everybody's entered. Okay, Jenny, pick a winner. <laughs> Six seven nine six one nine. Six seven nine six one nine. Awesome! Yay! Yay. Woo -hoo. Okay. 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 Seven nine six one eight. Woo! Again, it's one of them. Wonderful. Okay. Run off on me and stuff it. Okay. 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 Welcome, everyone. Can you hear me? Okay. Because I can put it closer if I need to. <laughs> Okay, my name is Evangeline Reed, I'm Crown Diamond and Young Living, and with me is Terry Bonin, who's the Platinum, Jenny McMillan, who's the Platinum as well, and so who's brand new that if you've never been to a gathering before? Okay, so don't, don't be shy, raise your hand. So these are for everybody, yay! Yes, let's give them a hot hand. We are really glad to have you. And here's how the night goes. We just basically start with testimonials, and we want to hear from you, any stories that you have. Um, particularly on Mer. So if you have any testimonials on those, we'd love to hear them. But any testimonial is welcome. And so we will either have you come up here or we will hand you the mic so that we can all hear it. So who has got a story? Okay, while y'all are thinking of yours, I have a frankincense testimony. Um, one night I got up in the middle of the night and I just had this strange pain in my side. Have you ever just had a weird ache? You know, just this random pain. <laughs> it just comes with age, I think. Possibly, I'm not sure. But I'm like, I don't know what this is or what body parts underneath there. Um, when in doubt, pull Frank out. I just, it was like 2 a.m. I grabbed frankincense. I rubbed it where my pain hurt. It was almost instantaneous. It was one of those, wow, this really works. So, anyway, I have been a believer in frankincense. It's such a powerful oil. But when you experience something like that, um, I mean, I was able to go right back to sleep with no pain. Very cool. I've got two microphones. One's for the video recording. Okay, anybody else? Who's read, Who's got a story? I do. Some of you may have heard this last week because I shared it on uh, Table Talk. But uh, over Thanksgiving break, Saturday evening, we were actually at a vacation house. And um, I was coming down the stairs in the dark and missed the last two steps and wiped out at the base of the steps. I thought I broke my ankle. I heard a crack and um, it, was, it was pretty scary. So I had to crawl back up the stairs because no one was awake. And so I crawled back up the stairs and walked my husband up and it instantly started putting oils on, frankincense being one of them. 
Um, and then the next morning, I texted Evangeline's husband, who is a retired uh, foot doctor, and said, what do I need to do? And he said, wintergreen, panaway, frankincense, and peppermint. And I started putting them on very, very liberally. I also added lemongrass, and I did not swell, and I did not bruise. And it's and I couldn't walk on it for probably three days. I'm, I'm doing pretty good tonight. So anyways, I think the moral of that story for me was yeah. when you go on vacation, take your oils. It's because I was able to get those oils on so quickly that I think it helped the healing. So that's awesome. Yeah, 100%. Okay, anybody else? We'd love to hear one. Yeah. Come on up, you want to come up here? On that? Okay, very good. Hi, I'm Julie. I'm just going to hold that one too. Um, <laughs> I was at MD Anderson today because I had to have an MRI um, for an evaluation. And I didn't have any um, sedation because the doctor forgot to order it. And um, I had a lot of anxiety when they put me in the tube and they pulled me out and the lady put lavender on me. Um, she put it on my right side and my left side and so the whole time I was able to breathe lavender and it really worked. And so I just wanted to wow. share that and how powerful that was. That was I thanked her for having her oral CT scan. MRI. MRI. Wow. Yeah, she didn't have you go into the tube and you get yeah. very anxious. It really did work because they put it right here and all I breathed with the lavender and just was very Okay, very was it our lavender? I don't know. I asked her. I, I asked her if it was essential oil and she said yes. Okay. So cool. I'll have to ask her again. Okay. <laughs> nice. Anybody else? It doesn't have to be super recent, just anything that comes to your mind that you think would benefit other people. Yeah. You don't want to walk up there? Okay. It has to do with love as well. I have, we have four children, and two of them, two summers ago, got severely sunburned. And um, I would have gotten other things. So um, I have them all cope themselves pretty much in the next morning. No pain. My daughter was like crying the most. I don't know how they would feel. Anyways, she she was. They were both just wet. And the next day, she didn't have pain, and the other one was so It works for sunburn. Lavender, the good all-round burn oil for sunburn and other burns. Here we go. Yes, it also works on the sticky hand on hot iron. Oh. <laughs> Tonight, tomorrow, whatever. 
Um, so we're going to talk about food, exercise, oil, and supplements. Oh my goodness, hold on. Why is this so sensitive? I've never, hold on, let me see if I can, okay. Anybody know how, there we go, I guess it's that. Um, yeah, Terry Bonin, mom of 11, mini of 10, <laughs> have 10 grandbabies. Um, CNC, I'm certified nutritional counselor, because I haven't had my health. In the past, I didn't have my health. I didn't feel well, and so I jumped into the world of health looking for my own health. And so, um, with six children, I decided to go back to school and get my CNC. Um, and I tell you I'm a podcast host because I do a Wellness Wednesday where I just talk about these things, and they live there forever, and you can just thumb through them. Hopefully find some help. Okay, so why do you want a faster metabolism? Um, most people say they want a faster metabolism because they want to lose weight. They want more energy. You think faster metabolism, more energy. Um, you want to be able to burn calories while you're at rest. Doesn't that sound like a good thing? <laughs> yes. Eat more without gaining weight. Are you tired of being tired? Yeah. Um, okay, so did I miss anything? Does anybody else have... Another reason why you would like to have um, a fast metabolism. If I miss something, haul it out. Okay. Six causes of slow metabolism. Let's look at it because maybe you have one of these and there is an answer. Um, first, misinformation, which leads to bad habits. Now, let's quickly talk about fad diets. That would fall under misinformation. Who has fallen prey to a fad diet before? me. <laughs> okay, so a fad diet is, it's trendy. It's a trendy dietary pattern known to be a quick fix for a long-term problem. It's nutritionally inadequate. Um, it promotes short-term changes. I'm not going to tell you never, ever, ever to do a fad diet. You know why? Because, you know what, sometimes you have a crisis and you need to get into that skirt. <laughs> and there are some fast ways to do it, but that is not sustainable long term. Fad diets will leave you nutritionally deplete and it's not sustainable. You will break your metabolism doing it. Um, okay, number two, not enough calories will slow your metabolism down. A lot of people will say, I barely eat. I barely eat and I cannot lose weight, okay? They have, their metabolism has slowed down because they have not been getting enough calories. Your body is your friend, and your body is protecting your brain, it is protecting your heart, it is protecting your vital organs, and if you do not give it what it needs to run, it's going to slow down the energy output in order to keep your brain, heart, and your vital organs functioning. So we're gonna have to teach your body that you can be trusted. You're going to learn to give your body the fuel that it needs and it will start to work again. Okay, not enough nutrition. Just like your car needs oil and gas and water, the body needs certain macro and micronutrients in order to perform certain functions. So same thing, nutrition. Um, number four, a low thyroid. Now the thyroid gland produces hormones that regulate the body's metabolic rate, growth and development. It plays a role in controlling the heart, muscle, and digestive function, brain development, and bone maintenance. Um, your thyroid will go bad if starved. Do you see the pattern here? If you don't give your body enough food, maybe you're binging and starving, starving and binging, you're, you're nutritionally deficient and your thyroid will stop working and your hormones will slow down and your metabolism will slow down. Um, but the good news is, according to Dr. Gabrielle Lyons, you can heal your metabolism at any age. Isn't that exciting? I know, hallelujah. So we're gonna kind of do that. Okay, a sedentary lifestyle. Moving the body turns on the hormones, which stimulates the metabolism. Sitting all day in front of a computer, at work, not moving, a sedentary lifestyle is going to slow your metabolism down. How many people have a sitting job? Probably most of us. I mean, unless you're a mom, then you're sitting and standing and sitting and standing. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and so, I'm going to show you how to work in movement. Okay. Lack of resistance training um, will 
also slow your metabolism down. Creating muscles turns on your metabolism. So we're gonna spend some time there for a minute. Healthy muscle is imperative to healthy body function. Musculoskeletal organs should be considered as part of the endocrine system because the endocrine system is directly affected by the muscular skeletal system. That's Dr. Gabrielle Lyons. Um, if you, if you, who knows what an endocrine system is? I'm trying to keep this really simple. Okay, so it's your energy system, it's your hormones, it's your thyroid, it's your pituitary, it's your adrenal glands, it's your energy, okay? If your endocrine system is low, you're gonna be tired. You will carry extra weight. You will have trouble functioning and focusing, okay? Um, it shows in different ways. Some people, they're, like different parts of their endocrine system are off. Their adrenals are, are burned out, so they're super tired. Um, the thyroid is low, and it shows in hair, skin, and nails. So um, she says, focus on building the musculoskeletal system, and your endocrine system will wake up. We've never heard this before. I love her information. The musculoskeletal system is 40% of a person's mass. Our body is 60% water and 40% muscular skeletal system. So we have been focused on the wrong target. We have been chasing fat. <laughs> Everyone wants to lose fat. Everyone wants to lose weight. That is not the target that we should be aiming for. Let's stop chasing fat. Let's stop worrying about fat and things will begin to correct themselves out. We're gonna focus on supporting our muscular skeletal system, okay? This is a totally new way of thinking, but I, I really believe that if you change your thinking here, it will revolutionize the way you feel and the way your clothes fit. Um, having a strong musculoskeletal system will stabilize your mood. Who would like a stabilized mood? <laughs> Most of us, right? Um, muscles release chemicals that support long and short-term memory and stabilize the mood. For example, walking briskly stimulates the brain. Um, as a mom of many, I've had a habit over the last few decades of going out in the evenings and just walking briskly, just to get out and breathe fresh air and have a change of scenery and be by myself or you know, push a child in a stroller or pull some people in a wagon, but you know, it's my time because they can't keep up with me. You know? And um, I might start out in a bad mood you know, frustrated or down or not feeling well. But by the time I get home, man, I am so energized and excited because my, my hormones are flowing, my blood is pumping, I have new creative ideas. Have, has anybody else experienced that? Yeah, you get creative ideas when you're walking because your blood is pumping and flowing and you're pounding and you're, you're stimulating your bones and your muscles, you're activating that muscular skeletal system and that's what we wanna focus on. Okay, a strong muscular skeletal system boosts your immunity. Um, oops, the higher your healthy muscle mass, the greater your protection against all cause of mortality and morbidity, Dr. Gabrielle Lyons. Let me say that again. The higher your healthy muscle mass, the greater your protection against all mortality and morbidity. Wow, that's a pretty bold statement, don't you think? Yeah, I do too. Um, I, she says in her book, and I'll tell you to tell it at the end, that when we, if you go for checkups, probably a lot of us don't necessarily go for checkups. <laughs> But you shouldn't necessarily always go to have your hormones checked, but have your muscle mass checked. If your muscle mass is the strong in the way it should be, your hormones are gonna be balanced and you're gonna feel good. Check them both, but she says that checking your muscles should definitely be part of what doctors do. The fountain of youth. The muscle is the fountain of youth because it maintains um, body shape and wards off disease and keeps the mind sharp. According to some studies, um, exercising and getting your heart flowing, pumping, your heart pumping 45 minutes a day, six days a week, wards off dementia by 90%. That is not a pharmaceutical drug. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Let's focus on um, ways to improve our musculoskeletal system. We're gonna feed it. 
Um, we're going to feed it what it needs in order to remain strong and grow stronger. We're going to stimulate it. We're going to walk briskly for half an hour, lift hand weights, learn to lift weights. Um, this is something new that I just introduced into my life. I have not ever been a person who wants to lift weights. That sounds like something a guy does. <laughs> Anybody else feel that way? I don't know. Do you love lifting weights? Okay. So I just haven't, but then I realized, oh, like, I just, I don't want to get hurt when I bend over anymore. <laughs> you know, I want to be able to move the furniture and pick things up and not pull my shoulder out or my back out. So I began to look into what does it look like to lift weights at my age? What is that going to produce? And, you know, is this a good thing? Am I going to hurt my ligaments? Am I going to hurt myself? Or is this good? And that's when I stumbled across Dr. Gabrielle Lyons' information that we do need to be lifting weights and you need to start now because the benefits will last you a lifetime. Um, yesterday, I was in Dallas at a piano recital with my kids and we always have the Christmas recital at an assisted living home or a nursing home. And with this information fresh on my mind, I was very cognizant of the fact that everyone sitting there who was you know, elderly, they were probably there, it appeared, because they did not have the strength the physical strength to take care of themselves. Everyone there needed some type of assistance, walking, sitting, or just even sitting up. So um, lifting muscles and taking care of your musculoskeletal system, your muscles and your bones, is really important for longevity in both mind and body. Okay, you're going to stimulate it by walking after meals. The muscles will eat glucose so your pancreas can rest. Um, exercise contraction stimulates muscular glucose intake for two days. So when you lift weights, okay, so how many people, let's start here. How many people, I don't say you have diabetes, but I mean, you know that blood sugar is a problem. And probably many of you might have diabetes. It's becoming a more common problem. problem. Well, what is diabetes? It's an insulin issue. Your pancreas gets tired. Well, if you will activate your muscles, your muscles will eat the glucose that's in your blood so that your pancreas doesn't have to. Think about that for a second. That's life-changing. That can be life-changing for some of y'all, for anybody, for all of us. Um, so, I mean, these things are simple. It was just a number of years ago that we would wake up, or women would wake up, and men would, would they go outside and milk the cow and carry in the, you know, carry in the milk, and everything they're doing is heavy, and they're lifting, and they're strong, and they're activating their muscles, and we just wake up and go to the kitchen and microwave coffee. I mean, like, hopefully you don't do that, but that's kind of what's happening in our society, and everyone is suffering the repercussions of it. And um, if you want your body to have longevity and to be healthy got to stimulate the muscles and everything else um, will follow. Okay, keep moving. I have a timer that goes off on my phone every 50 minutes. I don't know how to set that for just daytime, so it goes off 24 hours a day every 50 minutes. And that timer says, get up and move. And I have my girls, my kids who are at home set timers too because they do school on the computer, I work on my computer, we're all doing things that are sitting. And so, 50 minutes, we get that reminder, oh, get up. And um, I'll do like 100 squats or arm um, push-ups on the counter. You don't, if you're not lifting weights now, but you're like, I definitely want to start activating my musculoskeletal system so my metabolism will pick up, so my pancreas can rest, so that I can have longevity, and my clothes will fit better, and I'll have better focus. If you want to do that, you can start with body weight. And, um, and it's super easy, set a timer, do arm push-ups on the counter, do your squats, walk around, um, just make it happen, make it part of your life. Okay. Okay, so then, um, now let's move into food. Does anybody have any questions before we move into food? We good? Okay. Um, I want you to understand combining, understand timing, and understand absorption when it comes to Eating to stimulate your um, your metabolism and strengthen your musculoskeletal system. Raise your hand if you've heard of proper food combining. Okay, this is a really fast way to help your metabolism. 
to take some stress off your body. Um, it takes different digestive juices to digest proteins, fats, carbs. And if you simply separate some of the foods and combine them in different ways, your body can digest them and metabolize them faster. You will have more energy after you eat. You will not go into a food coma. How many of y'all have suffered that before? I know I have. <laughs> Why do we go into a food coma on Thanksgiving? Because we mix everything and we eat too much, typically. Okay, so if you make it part of your lifestyle to just practice proper food combining. There are two fuels. You can see there. Your body needs certain fuels to burn. If we're overeating our fuel, the body's going to store it. You need a certain amount. Um, how many, I'm just curious real quickly because I need to know who I'm talking to. How many people would say they, they don't eat a lot? They don't feel like they eat a lot? Anybody? Okay. Okay. So um, I think it can be a little bit scary moving into waking up your metabolism when I'm going to tell you I, you need to eat every two to three hours. Okay? Your body needs to learn to trust you, that you can be trusted. Your body is your friend, and you're going to let it know that it's going to get some fuel. Now, you're only going to do that in a certain window of time. Um, I, don't, I don't know y'all's ages, but I am postmenopausal, and so intermittent fasting, which means that I just don't eat for a certain window, has been very important for me. It makes me feel really good to stop eating at a certain time at night and not eat again until a certain time the next day. My body needs that rest and to be able to digest and absorb. But during my eating window, sorry, I give it fuel every few hours. Not a lot, just a little, you know, so that it can take it in, digest it, use it, absorb it, and a little bit more. And um, so learning how to, now if I was mixing everything, you put all of your fuels together. Your fuels are fats and carbs, okay? So you're gonna, you need to burn your fat, you're gonna burn your carb. If you combine those two, what is a fat and a carb you can think of that you think of, oh yeah, that, how much chips and salsa? <laughs> chips and guac, okay? So that's a, a fat and a carb. But um, a, a good combination, if you're going to use some fat, would be like a meat and a fat. Like make, make a yummy steak and put a, a beautiful sauce on it and have some asparagus with it, okay? That's a good combination that your body can digest and it'll make you feel good. Um, you can have, if you're going to have your whole, I love whole grain toast. I mean, I am a bread girl. Love, 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 love bread. Um, and... But I'm not going to put a heavy meat with it because of, it's going to make me tired. And I'm not going to put a lot of fat with it, okay? Because I, because I do want to be trim. That's not everybody's goal. And yay, if it's not your goal, our goal should not be necessarily to be trim. Our goal should be to be healthy, to have energy, to have strength, to have focus, to be able to, to be able to move and help other people. Okay, but if you can learn this, this is, there are, told books written about this, okay? So that's, just take a picture of it, practice it, and I think you'll get some relief digestively. Um, which moves me into enzymes. We all need enzymes, okay? So if your metabolism is slow, the first thing besides moving, outside of moving, you've gotta move, you've gotta start activating your muscles, is you've got to start taking enzymes. You absolutely, there's no way around it. You have to supplement enzymes. You're not going to get. You're not going to be able to eat enough food to get those enzymes. You would have to eat your way through a garden, and there's not enough time in the day, and your jaw would hurt. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's true. So start with enzymes. Young Living has, in my opinion, the best enzymes on the planet, um, they, and they have lots of enzymes. The two enzymes that I have up here right now are. Um, you take them at different times. And they're different. They're very different from each other. Essential Zyme 4 digests your four different food groups. Fats, carbs, proteins, and fibers. Or that's not a food group, but it helps digest them. So take that when you're with your meal. One of those capsules is going to open up in your stomach. The other one's going to open up in your intestine. And that's going to give you energy because it's helping your body 
digest, break down, and absorb so that you can do other things. You've heard of the gut-brain connection. If your gut is overloaded all the time, you're going to feel slow-minded. You're going to have trouble remembering things or that word or that thing, whatever. So give your brain a break. Give your gut some, di- some enzymes. Okay. The other enzyme that I absolutely love is it's just a simple time. Okay. This one just cleans up the system. Um, enzymes are the key to life. Every single process in the body is activated by an enzyme, okay? Your, your body's not gonna work without enzymes. So that three o'clock slump when you're tired, yes, take nitro, of course, take nitro, but also take an enzyme, take essential time. Um, before bed, take essential time. This is not the one that you put with food. This is the one you put just for energy to help wake up your metabolism, to help get the systems of your body going. This. I won't tell you which one. I got a bunch of kids, so I'm going to just throw that out there. Um, he was snoring. And so my daughter gave him this before bed, and it helps him not snore. So she does not have to give it to him anymore. He looks for it. Like, he's like, can you order some more? Like, he, he sleeps better when he takes this enzyme before bed. So this enzyme is going to help you with your metabolism and a lot of things. Oops. Oh, goodness gracious. Hold on. Okay, okay, um, okay, so taking the enzymes. Now let's, I want to go talk about protein for a minute. Um, 40%, and I'm sorry for jumping around, this is so much information that it was actually hard for me to figure out how to organize it <laughs> in a simple way. So, um, as I said a couple slides ago, 40% of your mass is your musculoskeletal system. Half of that is protein, okay? All protein is not created equal. We have got to have the right protein for our bodies to repair and build. Our cells are turning over every single day, which is so cool. I think that is so cool. Every six weeks we have a new liver. Isn't that neat? I don't know, I don't remember off the top of my head all of the numbers, but I do know that every seven years, every single cell in your body is brand new. And you know what that tells me? In seven years from now, you can be better than you've ever been. Stronger, healthier, better. You have the opportunity to help your body um, by making some changes. Now, we're not eating protein just for protein. All protein is not created equal. Um, Let me get to this again. We, We need protein because it balances our blood sugar. It reduces cravings. It improves our body composition. And it increases energy. Take a picture of that if you need to. Um, some easy sources of protein are wild salmon, organic beef, turkey, um, Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, raw milk. I try to get those every day. I just listed my favorite foods. So <laughs> um, you want to you want to have a variety because there are 20 different amino acids. We are not just getting protein for protein. We're eating protein for the amino acids. And our body only makes a certain number of amino acids. And the ones that are called, how many have heard of essential amino acids? Okay. They're essential because it is essential that you supplement them. You have to get them. Your body's not going to make them. You have to eat them. Okay. Um, I I put this, it's just extra. I put this chart on my refrigerator because I thought it was interesting. And it helps me. Um, Dr. Gabrielle Lyons says that, you know, most people are deficient in the amount of protein that they're eating, that they're, that our bodies need in order to repair and restore and recover. And so she recommends between 30 and 50 grams per meal. <laughs> okay, so that's about, she's recommending about one gram per ideal body weight. I don't know that that's, I, I, I have a hard time with saying every single person needs exactly one gram per body weight. I'm not gonna get on get on that bandwagon necessarily. You know your body, but I do agree with her that most of us are protein deficient. Okay, um, and um, so there's a chart to show you some fast ways to get some protein. Okay, um, like I said, we're not just eating protein for the protein. We're eating it for the amino acids. It is the amino acids that do the work in our body. Um, 
Young Living has a product called Amino Wise. It is absolutely one of my kids and my favorite products because of the way it makes us feel after we work out or even during a workout. My kids um, in the past have run track, played football, like done sports that take endurance and speed. And every single one of my kids who has used Amino Wise during a sport has said, I definitely did not get as tired as I did before I took it. So they like to drink it in their water bottle. I like to drink it for muscle recovery after I lift weights. If we don't have the right amino, amino acids, say after we lift weights and we're trying to build our musculoskeletal system to speed up our metabolism, we're gonna stay sore. Has anybody stayed sore for a long time? You're like, you exercise and you're just sore. And in one way, that kind of feels productive, doesn't it? I'm sore, I'm just sore, man. I, I, my body's doing something awesome. Well, you know what? Not necessarily if you're sore too long. You're, you're just not recovering, okay? In order to build, you need to recover and then do it again and then recover and do it again. So Amino Wise is going to um, put um, nitric oxide, which um, improves vascular blood flow, which helps repair um, the broken down muscles. It contains branched amino acids for quick muscle recovery. Think stronger, better, faster. It supports hydration by replenishing important minerals lost during exercise. Think perky plant. Um, a lot of times we're tired and it's not a metabolism problem. It's a hydration problem. Um, you might be drinking a lot of water. Sometimes I'll scan people and it will say, dehydrated, and they tell me, I drink a lot of water. Well, you've got to, you've got to absorb it. And it does take electrolytes, uh, minerals, amino acids to absorb your water. So um, Amino Wise helps with hydration by helping you to absorb your water. It provides a good source of E and uh, zinc. So all ages love this supplement. It's good, yummy. Okay, a little more. Okay, leucine. It has um, the branch chain amino acids and amino acids. It has leucine. Leucine is one of those essential amino acids to build muscle. Without leucine, you're not going to build muscles. You're not going to do it. Um, the older I get, the more I realize, ooh, it's really hard to not be flabby. You know, I mean, has anybody ever thought that before? I don't know. Like, I'm working, I'm working, and it's a shame, you know. <laughs> it's hard, okay? So that's, if there's no, if I'm not getting leucine, doesn't matter how much I work out. It's not giving not my, my muscles what I need. So, like I said, with the protein, you need approximately one gram per ideal body weight, but all, all protein is not gonna have every single amino acid that you need. So a quick fix to that, honestly, is just take amino-wise. Um, it's got it's got great all the amino acids you need in it. Okay. Okay. Another thing that I love, love, love um, is I like to supplement with protein powder because um, now that I'm trying to get more protein in my diet, I, I do like chocolate and I like to taste sweet things, okay? But I also have a goal. I want to, I want to, have, I want to have a healthy metabolism. I want my body to have energy. Um, I want to be strong. So... Pure Protein Complete is a phenomenal product. It comes in vanilla and in chocolate. Um, okay, so I copy and pasted this from the website. Pure Protein Complete supports exercise recovery and lean muscle with cow and goat whey, peas, egg whites, and organic hemp seeds. These ingredients provide 25 grams of protein, which is awesome, and a full range of branched chain amino acids. In addition, um, it features B vitamins, essential oils, um, proprietary enzymes and probiotics. These ingredients work together to support ATP production and metabolism right there on the back. You want to support your meta metabolism? Make protein a um, complete part of your daily regimen while you're doing this. It helps build lean muscle mass and supports post-workout and muscle recovery. And it's just yummy. I drink in the afternoon. Okay. So timing matters, um, like combining matters, timing matters. Stop eating two to three hours before bed. What that means is you should be eating during the day. 
Um, what I've seen a lot is, okay, so, you know, I'll give all this information to someone and, um, and then they'll just eat it all right before they go to bed. <laughs> okay, so you want to give your body a break. Your body wants to recover when you are asleep. When you are asleep, it does not want to digest. It, your body needs to recover. So stop eating two to three hours before bed so that your body can use all that wonderful protein and those amino acids that you've been giving it so that those muscles from that weightlifting and walking and arm push-ups and squats, that your muscles can recover. If you have food on your stomach while you're sleeping, your body's just gonna be like, you're gonna wake up tired. You're just gonna be exhausted. Your metabolism's not going to be what it should be. Okay, um, you're gonna break your fast in the morning with a light protein breakfast, Greek yogurt, Frozen berries is a great combination. One to two eggs plus ningxia, that is a great combination. These are things that I enjoy that make me feel good. Um, balance complete with raw milk, of course, or protein complete. So feed your body every few hours, something small, keep it awake so that it's learning to trust you, um, and do, doing this will help spark your metabolism. Okay, um, juniper. How many of y'all have um, been to the Mona Farm and seen the juniper there? I think it's really cool. Um, they have, that's where the juniper is grown and cut and distilled and bottled. And um, most people think of juniper as what? Like, what do you think of juniper for? Kidneys. Yeah. Most of us, I mean, because that's what it's most known for. It's known for kidney support. But a study was done in PubMed, and um, there were two groups of chickens. And one of the one group of chickens was given juniper to eat. They were just eating all of juniper, and the other just were eating the regular feed. The ones who were given um, juniper had better muscle tone. What? <laughs> they were significantly stronger than the other chickens. So um, that's my husband learned that when he was studying how to how to maintain strong muscles as we age. So it is known for increasing circulation in the kidneys, but it also promotes nerve regeneration and supports the musculoskeletal system, which is pretty cool. Most of it, us have juniper and you just don't know what to do with it or you only use it when you, your kidneys hurt. You know, Now just make it part of your daily, You know, rub it on your muscles, put it on your wrists. Um, my husband takes it internally, but he takes most of the oils internally. Okay, thieves. Probably every single one of us have thieves in our house because that's our favorite, right? That's Young Living's signature product. That's why we have like thieves household cleaner, thieves oil, thieves toothpaste, thieves mouthwash. I mean, like, there's thieves everything, right? Well, there's a reason why there's thieves everything. It does so many things. I mean, we could just always come here and have a thieves class and talk about a different thing that thieves does. That's how amazing it is because the five different oils inside of it are so powerful. Um, two of the oils inside the thieves blend help balance the blood sugar. Um, why is this important? Why is this important for your metabolism? You might want to throw that out there. It yeah. reduces cravings. That's, okay, that's awesome, yes, that's one reason. It helps reduce cravings. When your blood sugar is high, high blood sugar is one of the fastest ways, like it's a shorter mortality. I'm not saying that right, but. We want to keep a stable blood sugar for our mood and for our body to be able to function the way when our blood sugar is up and down and up and down. It that's affecting our hormones. Um, you know, the hip bones connect to the thigh bone. You know, it's all connected. And um, make thieves a part of your life as you're trying to heal your metabolism. Yes. Okay. Well, one reason I have the thieves cough drops up here is because just suck on them all day. I mean, the lozenges. Um, I put it on my wrists. They, the Young Living has a roller bottle that's already diluted. Carry that around and wear it like perfume. One of the benefits, I mean, really the main purpose for thieves, I think, we think, is um, germs. You know, because it kills 99.9% .9 of all germs. So, you know, we're spraying it and coming and going to the airport and behind us, and we're trying to stay away. You know, well, but the, there's so many other benefits. I mean, make it a part of your lifestyle and it will help your, your blood. It will help the blood. Um, balanced blood is going to help your metabolism. 
Okay. Nisha. We can't talk about the metabolism without talking about Nisha for so many reasons. <laughs> this is also one of my favorite products. This is also Young Living's signature product. They have two signature products, Thieves and Nisha. If you only ever got two things from Young Living, and that's really hard for me to say because I had to narrow that down, but Nisha is a really important whole body supplement because it's the entire fruit and it balances your blood sugar and it supports all the systems. And our bodies need, like I said at the beginning of this class, we need certain nutrients, macro and micro, in order for our body to work the way we want it to work. And so nature is just a great way um, to say, you know, here, here are some really important nutrients. Use these. I drink it all day. Um, okay. So let's review ways to build a resilient metabolism. You're going to focus on building muscle by moving daily. This is really simple, and we've overlooked it, okay? Fat is not the target. I don't want anybody to set a New Year's resolution to lose weight, okay? If you're going to set a New Year's resolution, it's to build muscle. That will change your life. That will change your metabolism. That will help your mind and your body stay strong longer, okay? Um, eat enough protein and supplement amino acids. You've got to have enough protein. Most people are protein deficient. The RDA, Dr. Lyons says, is for um, survival. She says double it. Whatever the RDA says on anything, double it if you want optimization. So don't look at the RDA and think, well, I'm getting enough or I'm barely getting enough. Well, then, you know, um, really focus on your amino acids and your protein. Um, if you want that chart, well, that chart is on her website. Okay, supplement to support digestion and um, blood sugar and healthy muscles. We have to supplement. We just live in a day and age where we just have to supplement. You will feel so much better if you supplement. Just make it a part of your, um, your life. Young Living makes it so easy with loyalty rewards to get things at the best price and get things free. And um, so plan on supplementing. I just support digestion. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. Y'all want the slides? Yes. Okay. Okay, so uh, if you have registered, we will send those slides to you. If you have not registered, make sure you register <laughs> tonight. So then. I have your email and I have your information to send that to you. And I'm sorry I didn't bring a registration form tonight. It's been a week. So uh, as you most of you know, you probably got a text from me today about tonight's food. <laughs> so I'm really proud of myself for getting it out at all. So, <laughs> so sometimes life is like that. Um, so anyway, we're really glad you're here. That was amazing. That was yeah, such amazing you. information. Thank you, Terry, really. Uh, very, very powerful and perspective shifting. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to be checking on how much protein is kind of my email. Yeah, I'm really sure. and that's a challenge. Yeah. Like, ooh. yeah, exactly. Okay, any questions or any thoughts on that? Yes. I have a fun there, but these, every time I got these, it was more clean. Okay, so drink this, drink this too. Okay, so you're talking about the household cleaner? Like, yeah, this is all I get. Okay, so there, there's an oil that probably came in a starter kit. If you got a starter kit, get yeah. in your starter kit. That's what she's talking about. The thieves oil, not the not the household cleaner. Correct. So the thieves household cleaner is amazing. It's a nice natural cleaner, and it has thieves oil in. But what we want to put on our skin or put in our mouth is a drop or two of that little thieves oil. Yes. Good question. Yes. I have a question for you, Terry. You had mentioned all the good protein, like uh, salmon, well, turkey, and uh, chicken, and yes. everything. How about beans? Like I like uh, chickpeas and. Uh, okay, so okay, like I was saying, that all protein is not um, it's not created equally, and those are what you call incomplete proteins because they don't have all the essential amino acids. So. That's great. Get those. You probably don't eat meat. I didn't eat meat for 15 years. I get that, okay? I get it. But, but, you've got to have leucine. There are three 
um, amino acids that your body cannot maintain a strong musculoskeletal system without. Leucine, lysine, and then the other one's like myelocene or something like that. Um, and so, and it, those come from animals. They come from animals. So you're gonna have to, yeah, if you're just doing beans and legumes, then protein complete amino wise. And if you need a, a good vegan source of protein, uh, we do have a, a protein powder called Power Meal, yeah, which uses peas and brown rice and some other things. Yeah, you yeah, know. So, nice. But again, that's not a complete protein, so you've got to find a way. You're going to have to do the amino wise or something else to balance that out to make sure that you are able to put on muscle. Yeah. Question? Yeah. That's exactly what she said. Yeast is good to control your blood sugar. Now, there's lots of oils that are good to control your blood sugar. Um, did we tell the story of the red cedar bliss and thieves in a capsule last no. month? We did not. Okay. So, um, a young gal that uh, that is on our team actually went to convention and she got to meet Mary Young, who's the the owner of the company. And she, she told Mary her story, how she got the COVID shot and immediately flipped into type 1 diabetes as soon as she got the shot. Like, landed in the hospital, sugar's over 500. And pancreas just shut down. And so she was young. She was doing it so she could play sports in college. And she, uh, in the course of conversation, Mary said, you need to be taking two capsules of Red Cedar Bliss every day. And so she went home and did that, and she found it very helpful for controlling her blood sugar. So when my friend Jenny came to me because she's, her father-in-law and mother-in-law had moved in with her, both of them were on 12 to 15 medications a day. She's gotten them down to three. Some of those were diabetes medications, and she could not get their sugars down, even on the oral diabetes medicines. Um, she said, what, what oils would you recommend? And I said, I don't know, but Red Cedar Bliss was really helpful for this one girl. And then Thieves has cinnamon bark in it, so you could use that. And you could try dill, and you could try just cinnamon bark by itself. And Ocotea, O-C-O-T-E-A, that's another beautiful blood sugar balancing oil. Um, so there's some ideas for you. Well, Jenny took it and ran with it, decided to put four drops of Red Cedar Bliss and four drops of Thieves in a capsule, gave it to her father-in-law, dropped his blood sugars, at night, she gave it to him at night, tested his blood sugar in the morning, and his blood sugar dropped about 80 points. Yeah, overnight. And so she had to play with the amount a little bit because it dropped it really, really low after when she did five drops. So she was playing with it. You gotta find the right amount of drops for you. But another person tried that combination and had similar success. So it's a, it's a one to try anyway. You know, everybody's body's chemistry is a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, in a capsule. So Young Living sells these little empty cellulose capsules. And I guess I'm not on camera, am I? I better step over. <laughs> I'm probably going to use yeah. yours. <laughs> Red Cedar Bliss is a blend that is designed to combat the damage from the COVID shot to the circulatory system. It's also designed to combat the damage from COVID itself because COVID, and long COVID can hang on even after you sort of kicked it and it can cause damage in your body as well. So if you even caught COVID, Red Cedar Bliss can help you as well if you're experiencing long-term effects from COVID, which many people are. They have like musculoskeletal pain, they have nerve pain, got all kinds of crazy things that can happen as a result of that. But they rub that on? So yes, you can rub it on topically. You can even diffuse it. And, and many people do take it in capsules. It's kind of up to you how you wanna, how you wanna do it. Yes, Mary told him to take two capsules a day, one morning and one evening. And that there's about 15 drops in a capsule. So if she filled that capsule up, that's a lot of Red Cedar Bliss. Oh, well, she filled it up. I think she did. Yeah. Well, she's in a pretty, you know, catastrophic state at with type 1 diabetes and your pancreas shutting down. So she really needed some support and help getting the blood sugar balanced so she didn't have to be on so much insulin. Insulin's expensive. It's not, it's not a cheap drug. So uh, we want to avoid that at all costs. So you could try lots of different, um, we've seen people that dill was their best oil for dropping their blood sugar. So your body may, may respond to dill a little better, but if you're checking your sugars, you should be able to tell by, you know, if you take it at night, 
take your sugars in the morning, you'll be able to tell if that's your oil or not. And you can up and down the number of drops as you need to. So, yeah, just getting those sugars down is going to help a lot. But still, all the things Terry said, like all the protein, the movement, building muscle, and all of that as well. Any other questions? These are great questions. They're not a stupid question, so don't be afraid to ask. Yes. This is a question. Um, but thinking about this combined and Ms. Terry was talking about, um, one thing I learned way back, and I think this would still be considered correct, but I read what the instructor was expecting and that sort of thing, and was telling you about different things. And if I remember correctly, when you, if, if you're doing an incomplete protein, mm -hmm. if you put two of them together, like for example, uh, beans and cheese. Putting those together makes it into a complete protein. So that's another way to do it. There are three combinations that turn it into a complete protein. Oh, and that's all the right. combinations. One was a whole grain with a, something like a, with a dairy, like a cheese or something. And one was a beans and cheese, like a legumes and, and a dairy. And then there was another combination of the one with that. That's, uh -huh. the, uh, that's good to know. That's good information. Very helpful. Yeah, so I didn't know you were a vegetarian for 15 years. Yeah. I was a vegetarian for 19 years. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Back to eating meat. Yeah. Yeah. How many of you all heard her say raw milk and went, what? <laughs> Anybody? Yeah. 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 What is raw milk? That's a good question, isn't it? Raw milk is milk that hasn't been cooked. It hasn't been pasteurized. So you know the old days when they, when they milked the cow and they delivered it to the door in glass bottles and the cream rose to the top and so forth? Raw milk straight from the cow is a health food. It's an, it's an anti-inflammatory food for your body. Pasteurized milk is inflammatory for most people. It actually causes inflammation, which can cause you to gain weight. So even though raw milk and pasteurized milk have the same number of calories, the same number of carbs, the same amount of protein on the label, you are getting so much more nutrition from that raw milk. And it has all those enzymes in it that you need to digest the lactose in that milk. So it's got lactase, which is an enzyme specifically to digest lactose. So most people who are lactose intolerant can drink raw milk without a problem, which is kind of cool. That's, so That's true. I have a friend who uh, is lactose intolerant, a friend of my daughter, and she went to the doctor Yes. We drink it all the time. We don't get undulates because we used to have right. cows. It's she said she had a friend in Costa Rica, if you didn't hear her, who, who was lactose intolerant, but she could drink the milk down there just fine because it was raw milk. It wasn't pasteurized. And that is safe to drink as long as you're drinking it from a certified dairy or a dairy that really knows what they're doing and keeps that milk nice and clean. In fact, it's safer than pasteurized milk. You know, when you put the two beside each other in a Petri dish, you're always going to grow more pathogenic bacteria in the pasteurized milk than in the raw milk. Because the raw milk has the enzymes and the probiotics, the good bacteria to kind of fight the bad bacteria. Raw milk never rots. Did you know that? It never rots. You will not see any kind of black stuff growing on the top of raw milk. It just kind of lightly cultures and turns into buttermilk. And then if you leave it long enough, it turns into curds and whey. <laughs> you can feed your chickens and your dogs, and they'll love you for it. <laughs> yes? Amanda, do you know if any of the protein powders don't have casein in them? So casein is milk protein. Exactly. And the problem with people who are casein sensitive is often that the, pro the casein's been denatured. When they pasteurize milk, they denature the protein. So yes, our... our Milk-based um, protein powders in Young Living are very, very, um, they're supposed to be very easy on the digestion and uh, lightly, you know, dried without high heat so that the casein is not damaged in the process. Oh, and so the raw milk that you were just talking about, you said it was anti-inflammatory, which is But it's not denatured, right? It hasn't been damaged. True. Now, are there some people who are still super, super sensitive to milk? Yes. I think your husband's one of those. <laughs> so Cindy's husband, Wayne, literally almost goes anaphylactic to milk. 
So would he be able to drink raw milk? I don't know. You know, I don't think he wants to try because he's literally that allergic to it. Uh, but for most people, drinking raw milk, I, you'll feel it. When you drink just even a half a glass of raw milk, your body just says, oh, thank you. You know, you just feel that nutrition going in. And I was going to say, once you start drinking raw milk, you will never go back to that. Yes, and not all raw milk tastes the same, so you can try it from different farms and see which one you like the best. We, my son runs an organic farmer's market in, in Montgomery, so I'm going to do a shameless plug for his farmer's market. <laughs> because he's got raw milk at the farmer's market, so you can go taste it if you want to. We get little samples out. That's where you'll find me every Saturday morning. I'm there handing out samples of raw milk. And then you can purchase it and he'll, he'll go get it for you from the dairy.